Okay, let's try that and see if anybody can see me come back on. And we'll try this one more time. And if anybody's in there, just let me know if you can, uh, if you can hear me. Okay, that's a good sign. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. I'm still going to let the countdown run as people start filing back in. But, uh... So greetings, everybody! <laughs> well, that was random. Um, Alright, Freakbot, thank you so much. I appreciate the uh, raid. We'll catch up when you get some food and come back. We'll, we'll try this one more. We'll try this again. I, su I my, my suspicion is that this was a Seraph self-inflicted wound, but... Um, but we will see. Uh, if it happen if it happens again, then I know it wasn't me. But uh, but I actually think this was me experimenting with an OBS feature, and um, what I needed to do was not start streaming so quickly. What I think I needed to do was to hop on, let Twitch recognize that it's a separate stream, and um, and kind of start fresh. So I, 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 I suspect this was me, but I have reverted that particular experimental setting and we should, should be good to go. <laughs> so how are you, Darkstar? Good to see you, my friend. How is, uh, Ghosty should be around. How are you, my friend? Probably lurking. He, he does lurk a lot. <laughs> oh my God, that kitten emoji is so amazing and awesome. Oh my God, it's so cute. I know that wasn't the most manly thing, but fuck it. <laughs> it's a cat. It's a cat. <laughs> I am such a sucker for cats. Hell, I'm allergic and I have my own cat. All right. That should be good. It should be good to go. I think anybody that uh, that was in here before has uh, has come back, but we'll still give it another two minutes here. I'm actually going to run down and get a soda refill, and that should give you about the time for the two-minute timer to tick by. So once that runs through, we'll uh, we'll give a qu another quick recap, <laughs> and then we'll we'll get started with the E6 finale. So uh, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Ghosty, I knew Ghosty was around. <laughs> How are you, my friend? All right. I've almost got my headphones in. <laughs> oh, and Rob is back. Greetings, Rob. How was dinner? You know, I had to clip. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 
Oh man, of course you had to clip that. <laughs> oh shit. I'll be in I'll be in Sal's uh streamer Tavares, and now that's gonna be that's gonna be the clip when they're like, hey, let's give Sarah a shout out, and it's gonna be me uh geeking out over a uh over a cat emoji. Although it is I can't even complain because that's so on brand, right? <laughs> but uh <laughs> Okay, we're we're just this is like the disaster technical stream and I'm laughing my ass off, right? <laughs> I guess oh my god, you I don't I don't yeah, I had to clip that. Oh my goodness. And that is an awesome parrot petting emoji too. I'm actually also weird as it is, I am super allergic to birds. Why I didn't even hear about a uh, bird allergy. I think we've talked about this a little bit, but uh but yeah, the worst day of my life was when I was 7. And my mom decides to bring me to Parrot Jungle, knowing that I'm allergic to birds. I don't know what she was thinking, but uh, yeah, Robin and I are experts when it comes to disaster pieces, right? So, but hey, we're having fun. And that's the most important part. So welcome. I am Resplendent Seraph. Uh, I probably won't even upload the previous video at this point. So uh, to get some context here, we do stream live. I play these and record these live. And uh, you caught the flu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh that's awful. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get this recap through, I promise. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're going to be playing E6. We're going to do doing the finale. This is the, this is the second time in about a half hour that I've tried to get this started. Uh, thankfully I didn't get all that much accomplished. I was just going through the last area of the game to work up to the, uh, enough Emil to get the armor. But, uh, yes, we are playing E6. We're going to be finishing it today. I'm fairly confident of that. And, uh, so yeah, brief recap, just to re-encapsulate everything for everybody. Uh, E6, Adol gets, uh, just washes up on shore on the island of, uh, Quatera. We meet the Reda tribe. They basically have long ears, tails. They're super cool people, kind of a warrior tribe bait race uh, deal. And uh, so we befriend them after they didn't have a particularly high opinion of us, but that's mostly because Boslem's a fucking moron. Um, but he, even he has his strong sides. So Baslam is an Altelginian merchant who set up a town, Port Remorge, from all the survivors of people that have washed up on shore on the islands of Canaan. And he has uh, sort of like a, a Yankee trader mindset. That's kind of why it rubbed the uh, Retta uh, of the wrong way. I feel like justifiably because <laughs> Boslem does definitely has his moments. And um, so anyway, we adventure throughout the various islands and we find out that there are various keys spread out through the islands. The blue sword, the red sword and the gold sword, wind, fire and lightning, respectively. We managed to get those. We basically go up and down the island chain, and the only thing we really know so far is that this uh, Ernst character, a commander uh, in the um, army from Rom, he created the three fairies who sort of mimic our swords. There's a blue fairy, a gold fairy, and a fire fairy, and they're the ones that kind of tried to collecting the keys. We had to fight monsters that those three conjured up. That was not super fun. That was not fun. <laughs> well, it was fun. It just wasn't fun for at all. Especially the monster that Jewie summoned. Jewie's the fire fairy at the top of Mount Granavallis. And as we fell down the entire mountain, uh, we had to fight this like gigantic uh, monstrosity that just kind of flew around and summoned on the monsters. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. So anyway, without any for uh, so no, sorry that this is kind of important because this is the plot. So anyway, um, Baslam manages to do not. <laughs> He didn't really intend to do this, but they were trying to inspect uh, the statue on Zemeth Island, which turns out was Alma. And in so doing, basically tells Emilio and Zaxxon to tear down the talismans. They do. And at that point, the fairies show up. All hell breaks loose. The vortex surrounding Canaan goes down and it allows the fleet from Rom to arrive. And at that point, Ernst captures like half the Retta. And now we find out why, because he was after the priestess. Um... Uh, well, so he was after the priestess, but he was also after the priestess's sister, Isha, who has visions. So we basically, we go to the fleet, we rescue the Retta that are captured there, we rescue Olha, and, and at that point, we return all the Retta, ex sons Isha, who's still with Ernst, uh, and why well, thank you, Resplendent Bot. <laughs> it's nice to know at least Resplendent Bot works.
So while we're doing that, Ernst shows up, destroys the statue of Amma that had been sealing the Ark, and out of the ocean, a gigantic, ancient, advanced machine kind of rises to the surface, a bunch of these, like, weird-looking pillars. And when it turns out, it's a, uh, a, a machine from a primordial civilization that's a weather control system, hence why it was able to set up a vortex around and everything else. Anyway, we don't know why Ernst wanted to go into the Ark, but he has he has the black key, it had a key made of black emulus, which incidentally is probably the same material that the Black Pearl was made out of in East 1 and 2, tying those games together. And uh, yeah, we're going to try and go in and we're going to, our primary mission is to rescue Isha, but also stop Ernst from whatever he's doing, because it's probably, he's probably up to no good. So let's reconnect my controller and get this all set up to go here. Sorry, it took a little while to do that recap, but we are, uh, we are all set up here. So hopefully, hopefully all of our technical issues have been worked out. I have to re-hide that. It's all right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, God. God damn. God damn. I'm going to switch to the game in just a second. I'm just minimizing my taskbar here. Autom oh, automatically. Okay. Yeah. Automatically hide the taskbar is on. So why is it not hiding my taskbar? Hide my taskbar. Why are you not hiding my taskbar? Mm. Is it because this is... Let's minimize you. Go over here. Okay, fine. Let's go. Okay. Look at that. All right. Automat. Thank you. Finally. All right. Now, we'll switch it in. <laughs> it begins. Right? Although at least this was just like mundane level uh, shenanigans. I could, like, we could deal with those. We, we know what those are. Uh, but anyway. All right. So, I did technically play a little bit. So we went from 30,000 ml to 56, but basically in the grand scheme of things. Oh, and I also gained a level, but really that's, that's it. So yeah, there's, there's the Ark of Nepishtim right in the background here. All right. So let's finish this game. Let's go in here. Now, so I did manage to learn a couple of things, how these work. So that's good. Marvelous. So how's everybody doing now that I can... No, no, can I Oh, cupcake! <laughs> That's glorious. How's everybody's weekend doing? Shit, I knew I jumped the wrong way there. Hopefully we've gotten all the fail out of our system. Yeah, I knew I jumped too far there, too. It's alright, it'll give us. Damn. All right, managed to get it that time. Poof. Fuck. So if you get behind them, you can also do it, which is actually a little faster because then I could start setting up combos. That'll be the objective there. This is where we fought that mini boss. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. Ow, ow, stun locking. Oh fuck, oh fuck, I'm stun locked. Oh fuck, I'm stun locked. Yeah, all right. Yep. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's not do that. Don't let them stun lock you. <laughs> uh, whoops. That might be the better play with that. Come on. There we go. That's much smarter. Ah, I still took damage. Fuck. Damn it. Still managed to get it. Alright, so if I know when they're coming. Shit. Okay. Still managed to get it. 
Whew. All right, we got this guy. Enough for that guy. Yeah, I need to start using magic more. I really underuse the magic. What asshole? Okay. Yeah, I'm better off just doing that. As soon as we get to 100,000, we can get that super dapper uh, armor. Ow! Hey, Sarah, if I got an idea, how about don't jump properly and let them slice the shit out of you? Dumb shit. <laughs> oh, damn. There are more. Yep, there it is. Fortunately, they don't do all that much damage to me anymore. Oh, that would have hurt. That, that was perfect. He fucked up when he drove by me. Right, we're getting better at these. And of course, digging the music in the last area. Doo -doo -doo. that down. Not happening, buddy. Uh, sure. Yeah, we'll do that again. Why, thank you. I will take my health back to full. We do have to go this way. Yeah, the other one hit me. Not much I could do about that. Come here, asshole. And we got another. No, 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 I want that. <laughs> that is the only problem. Sometimes the extra ammo bonus can just get thrown off the ledge entirely, and you just lose it. That's super lame. Oh, that's a cool emoji. Shit. Is that thunder? I think that was thunder. Yeah, I was hoping to... Fuck that asshole. Really didn't feel like having to fight through that. Nah. Taking more damage than I would like. How did I miss him? I feel like I was just slashing through the back. Maybe we'll try this one. Ah, shit, shit. Oh, well that worked. That might be a, an approach to take. And I tried timing at that time, it just didn't work. With the whirlwind effect of this thing. Yes, let's just heal a hundred. Oh, lovely. I really got to avoid that. Ooh, 
Thank you. We'll take it there. Oh, win a boss fight without taking a single hit. I didn't take a single hit there? Oh, all right, cool. That was a neat achievement. We'll take that. Oh, I guess we gotta activate this. Operate the device. Sure, let's operate this device. I have no idea how it works. Sure, what could go wrong? Yes, push the button. Push the red candy-like button. What's in here? Ah, we got some more Kapla water. Save. Boom. Midpoint. What kind of new helm bastards are going to be in here? Come on. Damn it. Yeah, I had a feeling. Yeah, the golden sword is just too, uh, too fast. Mistimed it. Mistimed it and took 140 points of damage. I think I need the gold sword actually for those because the gold anything else is too slow. So I need the I need the speed. Yep. Exactly right. Damn it. Thought I timed it. Ow, no, 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 no. Fuckers. Oh, it despawned. Fuck. All right, well, let's heal. Try not to die. Be a little smarter about this. Definitely took one on the chin there. Let's actually go up and heal. <laughs> I shouldn't have wasted the... Uh, I shouldn't have wasted that healing. Fuck it. Hey, Crosshair, what are you doing? Editing, editing on After Effects to make viral edits. Nice! So you've got a need for speed? Yes, Darkstar, thank you. <laughs> well, that's cool. Enjoy. Editing is always fun. I don't care about that because I didn't even damage these guys. Taking that. Oops, shit, shit. I'll use that. Okay, got it. There we are. I'm getting used to editing. Cool, cool. Yeah, once you get used to it, it's not it's not so bad. Yeah, and then that's when they're in that uh, spinning phase. Nothing can hit them. All right, that's okay. Let's recharge the flame. Whoops! What the fuck is that? Well, it's trash now. Man, we are so close to that 100,000. I can taste it. Whew. There we are. We are at 100. We are now at 100,000. Let's level up once. Oh, we're at it. Probably the way forward. Yep. Nice job, Seraph. Alright, 
So that's the way down, and then we have another door through there, but I think the way down is that way. Shit, shit, shit. That's what we want. Okay. Let us head back to Port Remorge. Let's get the Dapper Armor. the way. This is the way back to town. I'm still trying to figure out where the other two Pickard locations are. I don't actually remember. That would be good for me to figure out too. How was everyone at Quatara? I might have left the village, but that doesn't mean I don't care about them. There's a weight off my shoulders and I'd heard that you'd saved them. That aside, you seem to have quite a lot of Emma with you. Would you consider giving some to me? There should be more than enough for me to make that ar an armor out of Emilus for you. Yes. That should be plenty. I'll get to work right away. I guarantee you'll be more than pleased with the results. Oh, yes, we will. <laughs> there we are. It's done. This is my first time making something of this scale from scratch. I'd be happy if you got some good use out of it. Oh, oh we will. So equip, armor, yes. Now we have that awesome armor. And, uh, oh, we don't need shit. That. We could be doing, um, shit. What should we have in there instead? I guess we could use the rainbow fragment. Now we may as well do the Elden Orb. Alright, so we'll get more Emil. We'll prevent status abnormalities. Our magic aiders will increase faster. And our max HP is going to be. 50% more. No, actually, let's increase XP gain. Yes. Yeah, I think we should go with the XP gain. Although, if I substitute any of these for the nail, we can go with that. I don't think anything down there gives me um, status effects. So let's do, let's go with this for now. Let's see how this goes. At least down in Kishkol. Although what I could do now is try to fight that B again now that I have another level. Yeah, let's do that. Although that being the case, instead of you, let's prevent all the status abnormalities. Yes. I think I'd rather have the gauge rate increase a little bit for the boss fight. Yeah, let's do that. Because I don't remember how much it increases. I don't remember how much it really increases. But what we will do is we will increase... Yeah, we're going to use Wild Foul Meat as our item of choice here. Let's save. And let's try and fight this B again. Now that we're a little bit better equipped for it, we've got better armor and another level. Although what we could do is I could substitute the Emil Mallet for the uh, XP thing. You know what? There might be a Pickard in the frickin' uh, in the underground room. That sounded like some gnarly thunder out there. I already know what my first shot in After Effects is going to be, which is the Dune Edit. Sweet. Yeah, After Effects is fun. I know some of you did um, manage to do a lot of really creative projects in After Effects. And this was like 10, 15 years ago. I'm sure you could do even more crazy stuff in After Effects these days. fucking bees, man. I did save, right? Before coming up here? I saved, right? Please tell me I saved. Equip. Now we'll equip this. Come here, buddy. Damn it. I need to not get hit like that.
Ow! Good thing. Come here, buddy. That was what I thought I hit. The only problem is that's the only time it's vulnerable. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I suck. I suck. Oh, come on, Seraph. You can't let that stinger hit you like that, man. That's amateur hour weak shit. Damn it. I can't believe I'm letting it fucking hit me with the stinger. Oh, come on! could just run. I would really rather... No. Oh, that fucking heat singing stinger. Shit. Oh, and it still hits you. Fuck. Damn it. No. No. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, I didn't mean to go down that way. Fuck it. May as well get my wild foul meat back. I used four of them there. I hate this bee so much. I might need another level, though, to get it. I heard a cat. <laughs> I mean, doubtful. My cat's asleep. I'm not sure where she is at the moment. But uh, I think she's on my bed asleep. Probably just heard one of these fucking bees. I hate these fucking bees, man. They're terrible. Alright. So, let's go back to our equip here. Let's equip the XP. Yeah, this should be good. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully this time without getting completely fucked over. You know, let's try this one. All right, well, at least it clears the field a little easier. No! I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid that thing. Oh, damn! Yeah, that's why that's not a good cho choice. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's the only thing it's good for, is killing these things, but yeah, no, no. That stinger's coming back. Oh, you're down here, damn it. Mm, no! I hate that stinger. I'm not sure how you're supposed to avoid it, other than, you know, making sure. Damn it, it's still fucking... Oh, 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 you've got to be fucking kidding me. Stop it. It's such horse shit that it's only vulnerable in a certain spot. I don't know if I like this weapon either, because half the time it starts. Oh. Fuck. I hate this thing. God damn it. Sure, at all, just miss. It's cool. It's not like I've got a billion times to... billion windows to... Uh, well, we've got half... We've got them halfway down. Ow! Fuck. Got him. Okay. Fucking little bastard. I hate that thing. But yeah, the uh, the fire sword was definitely the correct one to do. Uh, once we lined up the shot, we were able to just blow a nice fireball right up his ass. All right, so what are the umbilisk gloves? And were they worth it? We're about to find out. <laughs> We're about to find out. 
Uh, I definitely like protecting against all status abnormalities. Magic recharge rate is nice, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, what does this do? Oh, it uh, boosts my strength and defense by five each. All right, so it's a wooden bracelet, but better. Hmm. That's not really all that great. I'd rather have the El the, El the Eldian Orb. Yeah, no, that sucked. That was that was not worth that. That was not worth that. <laughs> that was not worth it at all. <laughs> that was not fucking worth it. But sure, you know what? While we're at it, let's go deal with the other... Uh... You guys really want to be killed here? Sure. Let's recharge you. Let's go back to Port Remorge, because I think... Uh, what's his name? Sells wild foul meat? Yeah, yeah. Oh, but we killed the fucking... We killed the bee, and that thing is awful. I think that thing is going to be harder to deal with than... Um, yeah, we're saving. We're definitely saving, because we don't ever want to fight that bee again. So we've killed the upgraded plant. We've killed the upgraded bee. Now let's go kill the upgraded slime. And while we're at it, maybe we can find some more pickards. Yes, let's buy. Thank you. Now we're loaded up on foul meat again. Although, for the most part, we probably don't need that equipped. Usually, just having the herb equipped is more than sufficient. Oh, but yeah, seriously, Rob. Oh, no, not the bees. Not the bees. <laughs> It's amazing how much mileage we have gotten out of that, uh, out of that, uh, sound alert. <laughs> and so now every time we get to 100,000, we can upgrade a sword again. We may upgrade another sword, but I am curious to see if... Yeah, yeah, sure. Grab that. Right? Because I do have the Emilus. Oh, I do not have the Emilus Mallet equipped. We need that. Uh, Emilus Mallet for sure. That's a steeze. Sorry. I'm going to the, um, the cave. We're not trying to go up. Did I already go up one? one for yeah, I already went up one level. I need to go back. Yeah, it's always fucking bees. <laughs> Holy smokes. Now, the hardest boss in the game we already encounter very briefly, and you could see why that optional boss is so difficult. There are lasers galore fucking everywhere. If we wanted to try to fight that thing, I'd basically want to be, uh... I would want to be much higher level than I am. Right. I need to see. Yeah, now we're just going to curb stomp everything in here. And the cool part, I don't have to worry about status effects from all this shit anymore. What we might also do instead of the ammo mallet, let's just equip this. That way, as I fight through things, I'll just regain the health I lose. I don't have to worry about it. We'll still get plenty of ammo in here. I'll worry about the ammo mallet later. Now I know the the gem boss in here is at the midpoint. So I think we want to be up this way, actually. Oh, 
which is fine. We'll recuperate on herbs too while we're at it. So we proceed deeper into Lime Water Cave. Enough of your shit. Yeah, that is thunder. Holy shit. No, didn't see you. Man, these slimes love to try to inflict status ailments. And their damage radius is uh, deceptively large. I think that's what makes it uh, challenging for me, is I always think, oh, that, that slime can't hit me there, and it's like, oh, yes, yes it can. <laughs> yes it can. All right, so this would be the halfway point. Just save here, just to do it. Good. All right, my internet seems to be stable now. So whatever it was, whether it was with me or the ISP. It's uh, worked its way out of its system. That's good. I think we want to go this way. Yeah, whatever. Man, it's so much easier without having to worry about getting killed by all this shit. <laughs> this is a... This is a dead end, if I remember correctly. It is. We don't want to go up that way. I think we want to go this way to get to the, uh, to get to that boss. Oh, that was cool that it dropped a foul meat. Not that I need it. This is how I get here. I don't want to be there. Yep, here it is. Okay, let's do this. Okay, well, we curb stomped that motherfucker. The B1 was way harder than this. Let's just kill the rest of them. Let's see, I'm out of you guys. Let's find out what that Emelis guard is. Okay, made from highly pure emulus, HP regenerates when standing still. That is fucking cool. Okay, that is actually pretty cool. I don't know if that will, well, bosses, that's not going to be really feasible because we're not going to be able to stand still a whole lot with bosses. But those, those are neat. Okay. See, I like those. So we'll substitute that for that. We already went to the very edge here. We don't need to worry about seeing now. Hmm. There isn't a uh, Pickard in the ruins, is there? Let's go to the lot. Let's go to the depths. Let's just take a look. Ooh, 
Look at that. There is a Pickard here. Motherfucker. Found a Pickard. So now there's just one left. And as we can see, the Ark is here, but we can't get in here. That was pretty cool. Uh, Alright, so there's a there was a Pickard here in the era of lost time. The next one's got to be Granivalis somewhere. It's got to be. Right? Because we got, we got the one at Windseeker Heights. We picked up this one at the Ruins of Lost Time. Oh, Seraph, where was the other one I picked up? I don't know where I picked up the other one. Was it Granivalis? Let's go to the peak anyway. Let's just go to the peak and see what's up here. See a pickard up here. Anyway. Look at that. Ah, we can only carry one pickard at a time. But okay, we know where it is now. Let's do it. Port Remorge. The important part of chat, we found it. We found it. Let's see what we get for these. The Emelis card is actually pretty cool. Ah, where have you been hiding all this time, you sly thing? Alright. You took Pickard. You must have been so lonely without me. Oh, don't you worry. Here's your food. Alright. Yes, I will. And I actually know where the last one is. So we're just going to go right back up to the peak. So I think, upon reflecting on this, as I go through this last episode of E6, I think the PS2 version I played, the Wing of Alma went to a completely separate area and didn't function as a fast travel. Because I don't remember... I don't remember being able to fast travel. I remember having to hoof it literally everywhere. Now granted, in this game, hoofing it everywhere really isn't that big of a deal. Hell, half the time I just did it anyway. Just out of, like, kind of habit. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Now I have all of my beloved Pickards back. Welcome home, everyone. Yeah. You must have been so lonely. Yes, yes. There we go. This amulet was a gift from my mother, but it simply wouldn't do to offer you anything less. So please take it. It was only after I thought I'd lost them I realized how, how dear these pickards are to me. Well, they are cute. I mean, they even make cute sounds. Come on, I had to rescue them. <laughs> they look like they don't have a care in the world while they're eating, don't they? But I'm sure that somewhere deep within their little pickard hearts, they're always thinking of me. Or, you know, at least that's what I choose to believe. Otherwise, they never would have come back to me, right? Well, I mean, I... Never mind. <laughs> they didn't come back. I brought them back, dude. Let's see. All right, so... You know, as I look at this, I almost... Did I miss an accessory somewhere? Because I'm looking at the very top there. Although we did just get this. Whatever this is. Talisman containing Dawn's power. Revives its wearer from the verge of death once. But only one. All right, well, that's pretty cool. So we probably will make use of that. But what... What goes here? Did I miss... Did I miss an accessory somewhere along the way? I wonder if I missed something somewhere along the way. Huh. Oh, well. All right. Well, I definitely need the... Um, yeah, the bloody nail would be nice. But we're going to go back and we're going to get some more... We're going to get some more Emilus here. So let's equip the Emil mallet. And let's go back. Use this item gonna go to the ruined city of Kishkol one more time. Actually. Let's go to the midpoint. I've already explored everything prior to the midpoint. Save. 
because now I've got the, uh, I mean, I've got this. My HP will generate when I'm standing still. So I could just stand still now and recover my hitch point, eight my HP. I don't need the bloody nail anymore. So we're, we're good. Now I have 600 hit points. Holy shit. Okay, that was cool. Fuck. No, no, jump! Man, the, uh, the time between hitting it and having the opportunity is really short. Oh, these things are dropping the uh, blue potions now. Sweet. And I was hoping to just aggro one. This. <sighs> Let's go in this room now. Oh, well, that's cool. Why do I feel like one of these is a trap? Well, I will take the additional accessory slot. Wow, okay, yes, thank you. I will take the 80,000 fucking Emil. Ah, there we go. Emil is shield, sweet. Oh, acquired all equipment. Badass. Huh, but Adol still doesn't look different. Hmm, interesting. Well, not the end of the world, I guess. Okay. Now then. Yeah, let's increase my level. I think that's more important than anything else at the moment. Let's do it. Still rush through it. Well, now I'll just stand still, regenerate my health. Just like the old East games. I mean, shit, I could just walk up the stairs and go to the frickin' Spirit Monument, but whatever. Right, we're pretty good right now. I think I'll only do that really if I... If, uh, if I take too much damage. I think the way... I don't know if that's the way I want to go, but let's... I think down is the real way I want to go, but let's go in here first. Oh, you motherfucker. You're gonna make me do this shit. Fine. But I made it. Of course, I could've just fallen. I guess I'm gonna have to do that jump to get out, though. Yeah, they're gonna make me do that jump to get out. Oh, fuck. Well. See what's in here. Blue potion. I like blue potions. All right, we're doing better here. Let's see what the story is down here. Oh, okay. Ah, I needed to do that. Oh, 
cute. Right, I totally forgot about that. Right. Right, right, quite right. Okay. Yeah, I would have eventually gotten there and then went, oh shit. It's always a puzzle. Everybody. Hoppy hoppy. Alright. I think at this point we've gotten the hang of that enough that uh no, oh, okay. Let's activate that. It's you. And let's just head down here, see what's going on. Fucker. Damn it. Do I need to raise this one? Oh, fucking pillar was in the way. You. Okay, up. I think this is just. Fuck, fuck. Yeah, that's just another roundabout way of going around this whole thing. Oh, I should probably upgrade my other sword at some point. All right, and then this way leads out this way. That. Okay. Oh, I missed him. Come here, asshole. Fucker. Hmm. If I did equip the bloody nail, I probably would just be at max HP here. Okay. Now you guys. Problem is there are two of them. Oh, we got him. I don't know if I want to go in that door or not. I don't remember what's there. Is this just one big circle? I think this is just one big circle at this point. Yep, this is just one big circle. Um... Doesn't really matter. Let's go upgrade a sword. I wonder what's the item, the accessory I missed. Well, it's just an accessory I had at one point and then traded in for something. That could be. Temper sword. Let's see. Oh shit, I have two swords I did not upgrade to ten. Let's fix that oversight, shall we? Alright, and now... Yes. Automatic magic regeneration. Fuck yeah! Increased regeneration speed to maximum. Alright, so Berlante is now at max level. So at least I have one sword now at max level. My other swords are up there. Let's go back to Ruined City of Kishkol. Midpoint. Let's see if we can figure out the other love, uh, platforming parts. We're getting there. 
And of course, we're doing all this going through the ancient city of the Retta because this is another way into the Ark. Probably should have mentioned why we're going here like a lot sooner than this. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's actually a reason we're doing this. Oh, that's a sneeze. Pardon me, sorry. You guys just take too long. Alright, since they seem to be dropping a lot of those... We want to go up this way. Hey, Seraph, why don't you just take a laser right to the face? It's cool. I don't think I can make that jump. I think if I try to make that jump, yeah, not even the, the dash jump can make that jump. Let's down there. Let's see what's up with this. Oh, we'll take 10,000 emil. <laughs> Why, thank you. Oh, yeah, all right, fine. It was still worth it to do. Now we just got to climb back up. Oh, there's another sneeze brewing in there. Why my nose has decided to do this, I don't know. Because... Fuck me, that's why. <laughs> now let's see what's up in here. Yeah, of course. Let's just hop down. Ow. You asshole. <laughs> Oh, another blue potion. Sweet. Well, we've got a bunch of these blue potions now. That's pretty neat. Hmm. <clears throat> Back up we go. Need a dash jump here. I can't make that jump. Thank you. Go oh, fuck yourself. Now, why did I? It's got to be something here. Okay, over here. Yep, right here. That'll be the last platform. Now, mind you, this game came out before Memories of Celsetta that we played. This game actually came up before Oath and Felgana. Which may sound a little unintuitive considering, you know, this is E6 and those were E4 and 3 respectively. But the others were remakes. Alright, so now we've now we're basically at the end of the game. Wow, we're only level 49? Shit. 
shit. Actually, that's not good. Are we high enough level? Fuck. Um... Let me at least gain one more level. We're, like, so close. I'm looking at the XP bar there. Give me two seconds here. Let me just... Let's do this. Let's do a quick circle. Yeah. Took a little damage there. That was stupid. gonna take that one in the face every single fucking time I walk through here, aren't I? <laughs> I don't know how fucking stupid I could be. Yay! I didn't get hit that time. <laughs> What's the easiest way I can get some XP in this area? He still hit me, but at least I didn't take it right in the face that time. At least I was smart enough to try to dodge it. I just didn't. Plus, we're getting ammo, which is nice. Almost there. So close. I'm gonna try. There we go. Thank you. Right. Now we'll try to go to the last area of the game and hope that level 50 is enough. <sighs> level 50 might be enough. I mean, our swords. Shit. So our swords... I only have one that's max level. The other two are level 10. It might be enough. Let's, let's try it. Let's just try it and see. If I'm under level, we'll come back here and we'll just level up a little bit. But this part's pretty cool. A vast empty space spreads out before Adol's eyes, and a huge jet black structure can be seen in the distance. Reaching it on foot would be impossible. This is called the Wyvern Corridor. It's said that Alma crossed it when she went to seal away the Ark long ago. Okay, now I had a hell of a time getting here. How the fuck did you get here, Olha? <laughs> Forgive me, Adol, I've been following you since you left the village, though I do have a good reason. If you truly intend to proceed any further, you're going to need the help of a priestess of Alma, after all. This particular role of ours is only known to us priestesses. Even the village chief isn't aware of it. At all. You're really going to go through with this, aren't you? Thank you. I leave Isha in your capable hands. And while I cannot go at your side, I will do what I must in order to light your path. <sighs> Once you've crossed over into the Ark, Returning here won't be an easy task. You won't have a way to temper your swords either. Are you certain that you're ready? So yeah, this is going to be a one-way trip. Uh, she's been letting you tank the monsters and hide my pillars the whole time. You know what? I wouldn't even... If that were the case, 
I'd be like, at least she was smart enough to do that. Because any one of those monsters should have one hit killed her. <laughs> that's, that's actually totally all right. So I'm actually going to hit I'm ready here. And what we'll do is I'll save in a different slot. Because otherwise I'm just going to be running through Kishkul. Leveling up, leveling up my other swords. So we're going to try this. Very well. Then allow me. So here we go. We finally are going to actually travel to the Ark of Nepishtim here. This is the Wyvern Guide. He was created by men with wicked hearts, but Alma granted him salvation and made him her servant. At all, this is for you. All oh, right, we had mirror fragments that were always in that slot. Received the mirror of Zem. We believe that Alma's soul resides within this mirror. Both my mother and all the priestesses before her would be at peace, knowing that she is with you. Keep it with you for good luck. Now, at all, if you would, climb onto his back. He'll take you all the way to the Ark. Just in time. <laughs> oh, it's you. Sorry, but I'm coming along for the ride. You know, guys, you've been nothing but talk shit, but fuck it. Come on. Let's go. No time to explain. Hop on the wyvern. Can you imagine a fucking meme like that? A gigantic wyvern? No time to explain. Just hop on. But like, I really think we should explain. <laughs> All right. Seems like this is the only way to get inside the Ark. It appears that you too have the right to enter the Ark. Take care, both of you. Thanks. I owe you one. All right, guys, hop on. Let's do this. And so that flute wasn't just, you know, a song. Like, it usually is an ease. There's always, like, very deep meanings behind these, uh musical uh, melodies here. You might have already figured out most of it on your own, but either way, I'm a descendant of those idiots who stole the black key from Alma in the first place. And that bastard who revived the Ark, no other than Commander Ernst, is my older brother. Ever since he stole the black key, he's been dead set on finishing what our ancestors started, and from calling those uh, fairies related to the three Emilus swords to dissipate the Great Vortex to pushing Agaris and his soldiers into finding those of the priestess bloodline. Everything's gone exactly how he wanted it to. Alright, that does explain some things. I jumped into the Great Vortex hoping to screw up his plan before he could pull it off, but... Well, you can see how that's been going. I haven't been able to do a damn thing to stop him. But I'm not going to give up that easily. It's not too late. There has to be something I can do. Ugh can't say this is the smoothest ride I've ever been on. <laughs> We're near the end, though. The arc's just up ahead. Mm. I had no idea controlling the wyvern would be this difficult. I still have a long way to go as a priestess, but I finally managed to fulfill my duty. Alma, mother, please keep them safe from harm. Yep, we just walked a few thousand years back in time. This looks like the entrance. There's no telling what kind of snakes they got lying in wait here. But either way, there's no going back now. Let's get going! Uh, sure guys, just Leroy Jenkins this shit. It's cool. You realize I don't have a run option, right? be eating that. Mirror white of 
contains Adol's Alma's spirit, huh? Event items. Well, it's nothing I have to equip. It's just here. So, cool. I'm guessing that's going to be important later. Well, I have seven blue potions, so I might even want to just equip that. Because seven times 300 is definitely going to be more than nine times 180. Yeah. Yeah, that math works out. Uh, unfortunately, I can't access the menu, so I can't just go into here. But we will have enough blue potions to make this work. We're, we're saving this in the Ark. Because God forbid if I have actually fucked up here. Um, well, <laughs> I can always load this save and uh, farm a little bit more XP. Hopefully, I'm okay here. Let's also change our XP to a more time to fuck shit up kind of way here. Um... Yeah, at this point, I don't need to worry about XP gain. Not really. Let's go with... Let's go with the raw... Sp let's, let's just go with the raw buff here. Because I don't think there's any... Oh, well. I'll equip the Daylight Stone in a minute. Let's go with this for now. Right, let's actually save so I don't have to re-equip that in case I die. All right. All right. Let's get to the end of the game. Oh boy. Actually, before I do this, let me go grab myself, myself another soda. I will be right back. Assuming I haven't cleared off all my soda. I was right. That was my last soda. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I have water now. Let's do this. <sighs> I remember these fights being pretty tricky. But the boss music is not only awesome, but also somewhat familiar. And for anybody who watched East 1, my East 1 playthrough, there's going to be a track up ahead now. It's going to sound mighty familiar. Huh. So the legends were true. The password to activate this is, I may leave you, but I return to paradise. Well, good thing we had Geist with us, otherwise we would have gotten screwed right here. Looks like there's only room for one. Sorry, but I'm going first. You're an alright guy in my book now, but cleaning up my family's mess is something only I can do. Yeah, you're not gonna do what you think you are, buddy. <laughs> oh, right, I remember this. There's something a little bit before... Yeah. God damn it, I remember this. Fuck. Shit, shit, shit. A gobble in. Galba Roa, the original gobble in. Oh, no, I did hit it. Cool. Yeah, I don't intend to go anywhere near that thing. 
Fuck. I fucked up. Ah, get me good there. We fucked him up pretty good, though. We are out here fighting Kaiju. <laughs> yeah, right? Did okay there, though. Okay. I had completely forgotten about the original Gobelin. Let's just let that regenerate. Yeah, oh yeah, the max level on that. Oof. That regenerates in a fuck ton of, in a hell of a hurry. So yeah, that's going to allow us to uh, to do that a lot. Yeah, it's the only unfortunate part. I, I kind of wish I had leveled up the other two swords, but it's all right. Operate the device. Let's do this. Up the arc we go. We've got two more fights. And this one's a fucking doozy. This one is a fucking doozy. Holy shit. I'm going to keep the wild, uh, the wild foul meat for this fight. And I'm going to keep the blue water for the fight after this. <sighs> you know what? Maybe, you know what? Oh, I can't go down now. Shit, this was a one-way trip. I should have saved after fighting the kaiju thing, or the, the Galbalan thing. Uh, alright, well. Oh, good, there's one here. Sweet. God. Actually, I would have preferred the blue water there. Even though the Coppola water is technically better. Yeah, because if I ever want to do the whole thing again, I could just save, I could just load this and go through the whole thing. So yeah, that's fine. Well, guys, you didn't make it very far. Look at that. Oh shit, you got really fucking jacked. Hey, uh, almost saw you weren't coming. What took you so long? I had to fight a fucking monster because somebody had to go out here and just help himself to the elevator. I don't mention the large monster that appeared after Geist left. That must have been the original Gobelan that sank the Roman fleet. My ancestors made it out of made it out of Ash Emilus using using the technology they stole from the winged people. So now you know where Gobelan from Othenfeld Ghana came from. He was one of those essentially homunculi made from Ash Emilus, sort of pseudo black Emilus. <laughs> you never cease to amaze, do you? And just look at me. I'm a disgrace. I thought I could take my brother on, but I didn't stand a chance against the Black Key. He might be even stronger than Elmo's when she was sealed the Ark away. Watch out. Guys fainted. Alright. Well, we got our work cut out for us. The throne floor. <laughs> well, there's Isha. We got this. Are you sure you don't want to finish him off, Master Ernst? He may be your brother, but I am the opinion that he's too far dangerous to be left alive. I quite agree. He'd be happy to take care of him for you, if it so pleases you. Hmm. You needn't concern yourselves with him. Besides, we have a new guest to attend to. Guest? <clears throat> Welcome, Adol Kristen. I was hoping that I would have the chance to meet you. My foolish brother owes quite a debt of gratitude to you, from what I hear. And I must say I've taken a great interest in your many exploits. Hysteria, Salsetta, Fulgana, Xandria. Now mind you, playing this, I was like, you know, because when I played E6, I had never had an opportunity to play any version of E4, and especially not E5. So it's like, well, Asteria and Felgana, I know, but Celsetta or Zandria, I don't have a fucking clue what this guy's talking about. <laughs> I've used the Ramun Intelligence Network to research all that you did in each of those regions. I'm fascinated by how deeply you've managed to involve yourself with the mysteries of the Eldine. And what a fascinating civilization they were. 
the Eldine civilization prospered on the fabled continent of Atlas, and it is the origin of both the kingdoms of Ys and Salceta. <clears throat> See, we're getting some major lore here in E6. Thanks to the winged god's emulous technology, their kingdom reached unheard of levels of prosperity. The potential of Emelis is nothing short of miraculous. I suspect many of the wonders you've encountered on your journey were created by the gods during the peak of the Eldine civilization. The gods even used the limitless potential of Emelis to alter their own bodies. White Emelis can be crafted into any form and bestows its wearer the power to manipulate the essence of life itself. The power of White Emelis allowed them to obtain miraculous abilities and even immortality. When a winged god left our world, his or her wings and body returned turned to a statue of the purest white. Inspired by this, our ancestors attempted to use the power of the Ark to create white emulus themselves. But alas, all they were able to do was create this ash emulus, a crude, unstable substitute. This is the Black Key, Almerion. The master key to the Ark, created by Alma and stolen from her by my ancestors. Alas, achieving complete control of it is impossible with the body of a mere mortal. Now, remind you, remember, we met a tribe in, uh, or that town in East 4, Memories of Celsetta? Other descendants of this that had mentioned this, and now we find, now it's all coming together here. But that limitation can easily be circumvented by using a priestess who has inherited the blessings of Alma. Which explains why he needs Isha here. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, Ernst, you stupid, crazy bastard. Yep. Turned himself into a fucking Eldine. <laughs> Finally, it is mine! The power to create miracles once possessed only by the gods. The black wings of omnipotence. Take up your sword out, the Red. Fall to a power beyond that of the gods. Yep, I gotta watch out for that. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Getting hit. You. Damn, missed. Shit. Now, oh, right, I forgot he can fucking resurrect them. I do not want that to hit me. Damn it. Hit the wrong button. That was bad. And he does hit like a fucking train. One more. Did he block a lot of that? What a dick. Yeah, it's better if I fire my fire magic. Come on, got him. I'm like, it's so close, let's just finish him off. But yeah, that's the uh that's a remake of the dark fact music. <laughs> Impossible. I was supposed to have become a god. How could I possibly lose? Mr. Ernst, I'm so tired. I'm ashamed that I can no longer be of any service to you, Master. Hmm. At all. You came for me. I knew you would. I was having a nightmare, but I wasn't scared at all. 
I've had to res rescue you twice now, Isha. <laughs> this better. Please don't make this a third. Because <laughs> I knew. I knew you'd come and save me. Wait. This isn't over. I will not be defeated. Not like this. You really don't know when to give up, do you? Guys, he came here as Alma's representative, and you lost to him fair and square. Just, just stop this already. You don't need to be a part of our ancestors' crazy delusions anymore. Hm. You little fool. I have no intention of listening to a man who brought nothing but shame to his people. Ernst! Our ancestors opened the lid of the Forbidden Ark in order to obtain the power of the gods. And a thousand years after they failed, the chance to do what they could not lies right in front of their descendant. Me! I have only one choice. I, the master of the Black Key, command you. Great Ark of Nepishtim, heed my words. Bestow upon me your limitless power. I can feel the power flowing through me. Put the Ark under my command. Couldn't read it that fast, damn. What, what is happening? What is this, the consequences of my actions? <laughs> Ernst! Master Ernst! Uh, it seems that my final wager ended in my failure. Detecting loss of control key functionality. <laughs> Switching to automatic control. That's not good. What, what the? So the worst came to be after all. At this rate, not only these islands, but the whole Elysian continent will be destroyed. What the hell are you talking about? The Ark of Nepishtim was a design of weather control mechanism created to protect the Eldine civilization. However, our ancestors attempted to use it for their own personal gain, resulting in it going out of control. In East and Salsetta as well. The successors to the Eldeen have fallen to ruin, and now the Ark intends to revive what's been lost. I suspect it will create a giant tsunami and with it, destroy the civilizations that dare impede its ambitions. In other words, the nations that have since taken root on the continent of Eurysia. I'd attempted to find a way to control it in order to atone the mistakes of our ancestors. I see now it was simply unworthy of doing so. You gotta be kidding me. So you're saying that you... All along you... <laughs> Don't misunderstand, I would not deny that I sought power. I so longed for the power of those white wings. I do not regret those desires of mine, but it was not my intention to lead to the ruin world's ruin. You stupid bastard. The path to the Ark's core. The sacrament floor is opened. At all, Kristen. Use the three keys that you possess. If luck is on your side, you may yet be able to stop the Ark. You could give me the black key that you've got, dude. Uh, Ernst. Master Ernst. Jewy. Sarah. Ziza. You have my thanks for serving me so loyally all this time. This is... This is my final order. Go with Geis and accompany him as you have me. Geis, forgive me for being such a burden as a brother. Farewell. Master Ernst, no! This can't be happening! No, Master Ernst, you can't just... You idiot. Looks like this is it. At all. I hate to admit it, but it looks like you're the only one who can stop the Ark now. No shit. Please, go and right my brother's wrongs. No, don't go! Don't go! I have a really bad feeling about this. If you go... I feel like I'll never be able to see you again. So if you really want to go, then then please take me with you. Ah. No, let me go. Leave the kid to me. I'll take her somewhere safe. Thank you, guys. Even if it costs me my life. What are you three doing? Come on. Weren't you just listening to what my brother said? Right. True. That was Master Ernst's final order. Farewell, Master Ernst. 
All right, well, at least I don't have to worry about fighting the three fairies anymore. I don't know! At all! Now, let's see if we could save. Can I save? It would be really nice if I could save and I don't have to fight Ernst again. I'd really rather not fight Ernst again. Let's do that. Good. Perfect. Uh, what was that? Okay. Perfect. All right. And now, onto the sacrament floor and finish off this game. Up we go. Almost there. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of walking. Thankfully, there's no stamina gauge. Can you imagine? Oh, this four. I lose the ability to cha change this. Yes. All right. I vaguely remember this. The core of the arc. This shit is annoying. But it's not all that hard if I... Oops. Before we do this... Yeah, let's equip that. Yeah, I'll just keep the MLS cards. We'll prevent... Uh, yeah, let's be immune to every abnormality. Okay, we got this. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm Nepishtim, a weather control mechanism tasked with regulating the whole of the Atlas continent. After Alma sealed me away, I slept a shallow sleep, and I dreamed. I dreamed of the twilight of the mighty Eldine and of its successors taking root on the Eresian continent. But now, a thousand years hence, those dreams have been shattered. The spirit of the Eldin that drove and shaped their development is all but gone from the lands of Eresia. Yeah, we had to fight a fucking AI. These false civilizations must perish. Oops. Jump over that. Alright, fine. Ow! Okay, let's fight this. I did not want to do that. Shit. Okay, kill that one. Jump over that. Damn it. Ow! Oh, fuck, that hurt so much. Damn it. Ow! Fuck. Yeah. This is so annoying. Okay, we got you. Mode really sucks. Fucker, ow! I don't know how to dodge that. Okay, we got that. First mode done. Completing establishment of water wall, probably. Probability of Eurasian, West Coast, minimum. Uh, initiating final phase. Yep, this is bad. <laughs> Okay, so when that happens, I can't be down there. What's going on here? Nope, now I gotta be down here. Okay, switch. Back up here. I think I need to be over where that is. I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing here. Okay, so I don't. Go right down here. What 
just going to... Oh, if I fight those, if I shoot these... Oh, I gotta get off that. What am I shooting at? Yep, I have to go after those. Ow. Damn, these are hard to get to. Damn. Oops, gotta get down. Come back here. Damn. Man, these things are hard. Oh, fuck. Got you. Damn it. Got you. Nope, get down. Down. Man. None of these are individually all that terrible, but boy, its rate of attack is just crazy. I couldn't, you know, couldn't line it up very well. Damn it. Oh, it dodged. No, oh, get down. Fuck. It's mostly just awkward as shit. No. Okay, I thought I missed it. Whoops. Jumped in the wrong spot. Gotta get down. Okay. Don't hit that. Where are those other jumps? There it is. Whoops. Nope. I was in the right spot. Now we get up. Got it. Okay. Where's the next one? Man. I don't fight these things, right? Oh, I do fight these things. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Where's... Yep. Okay. Avoid the floor. Now get back down. Kill that. Nope, get down. Shit. Oh, shit. Where is it? Oh, they're over there. I'm running out of these. Yeah, I'm better off. Damn it. Kill it. Damn it. down. Where is it? Oh, got it. Uh, where's that? Good. Right, right spot. No! Don't get hit by that. Ow. Ow! Oh, get down! Shit! Man, I'm not doing well here. I'm not doing well at all. This thing's got so many hit points. I'm also not doing a very good job of hitting these. Ah. Oh. Seraph, man. Oh, no, 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 get down! I did a shit job getting out of the way there. Oof. And of course they move so fast. I don't go very fast, so it's a uh, it's a real problem. Oh, that one at least. Ooh. Oh, get out of there! Damn it! Arrgh. Ow! Ow! What's hitting me? Ow! Yeah, the main problem is Adol is just so slow. Oh, shit. Well, I'm out of those. And I don't think I can change my, uh... Yeah, I can't change. I fucked up. I'm not gonna win this. Alright, this is a learning mission here. Let's see if there's a better way to go about going about this. Nope. Jump out of that. Damn it. Get on there. Chump! Thank you. Mm. So far away from everything. Here. 
Let's see if I can go for this. Can't. Over there. So those are destroyable, but they don't actually do damage. It's just the crystals. The crystals are the only things that do damage to it. So I really need to prioritize doing damage to that. Oops, I'm getting totally taking a lot of damage there. Well, I got it down halfway. It's mostly just tedious. Oops. Damn it. Wait. Wait a second. I just make sure I'm not doing something really stupid. Oh my god, I have to hit that spot. Okay. So I'm... I don't have this, actually. Oh, okay, it's going down. Okay, I can... So these are all destroyable, but the only time I ever do damage to it is when I'm attacking the core. So I just have to avoid this shit. I'm gonna avoid that. Ow. Ow. Damn it. Alright, well, there's that. so close. Got it. Okay, Sarah figured it out just in time. And that chat is why we never give up. <laughs> Even when I thought to myself, like, all right, maybe this is just a learning, uh, a learning attempt. But yeah, I was not, I, I totally was doing it wrong. I kept seeing it get damaged, but uh, I didn't realize it was only when I was glancing at that. But well, there we go. Time to watch the end of the game. Whew. So yeah, we needed the uh, revive from death uh, thing. So it turns out saving those pickards was absolutely critical to winning the game. See, I was right. We needed about two hours. Oh, and there's a cat. Oh, this isn't good. We need to stay away or we're liable to get caught into it. Hey, you with the black hair. You're serious about Adol being in that thing? Yeah. I'm sorry, if I hadn't asked him, he... Why? Why does it always happen? <laughs> Why does Adol always have to go do everything dangerous? I am not hitting the button, by the way. It's just the text is going that fast. Ah. I guess it kind of reflects that they're talking frantically. Well, the Eldeen's weather control uh, device, no, <laughs> finally, finally is permanently down. Look at that. So pretty. Unbelievable. Olha, could those wings be... Yes. 
Alma, my mother and the other priestesses. And shocker, Adol just washes up on shore. <laughs> Good thing he had that mirror of Zem, huh? The calm, gentle sea stretched out on the horizon and beyond. The great vortex and the water walls were no more. Hey, at all. At all. You idiot! When are you gonna stop making people worry about you? <laughs> at all. At all. Ladies and gents, E6. Let's enjoy the ending. I have to admit, I enjoyed constantly going back to the Reddit tribe and talking to everybody to see how their various B-plots kind of advanced as the game progressed. And there might be little details, but they really do help flesh out a game like this. So obviously the festival went uh, was quite the success. Terror will ever appear in another game. Or not looking any worse for wear. That is a big dude. doesn't seem familiar to me. I wonder if the PS2 version had a completely different credits. You know what? The, the PS2 probably had totally different credits. Yeah, I wonder if Xseed just... Hmm. Although Konami also added a bunch of CGI and voice acting, so... Yeah, they probably just did their own thing for the ending. All those villagers that we've gotten a chance to meet over the course of the game. And I didn't realize old man. Oh, old man Raba's on a lower area than them. It's like, man, Raba's awfully short. I didn't think he was all that short. But it was nice of uh, Professor Raba to have a nice presence in this game. Oh, it's 2003? I thought it was 2004. Huh. And 2015 is probably when they ported it to Steam.
Yep. And now it's time to wander again. It's what Adol does. <laughs> The karmic vortex that had swallowed in so many fates with its mighty powder is no more. A clear blue sky and deep blue sea spread out across the horizon. A whole new world was beginning to emerge, and Adol, as always, was ready to set off on yet another adventure. Which, interestingly enough, is... The one time in this series, I think, where an East game that followed it, not only in release date, also followed it in the chronology. I am pretty sure that E7 actually takes place after this. And so there we go. E6, in a nutshell. Woohoo. Oh, it's so now it'll let me do like time attack. Yeah, fuck that shit. <laughs> What, achievements? Oh, yeah, these probably aren't even going to show, are they? Yeah, they're not going to show. Well, I've got 9 of 16. That's actually kind of surprising. Oh, and then now I need to close it. It doesn't know what to do with that. <laughs> um, back to game. Okay. <laughs> that was awkward. Okay. Yeah, let's exit that. Perfect. Let's see. Well, it's 8.30. I could continue on with something else. Um, let's correct my taskbar here. Let's undo the automatically hide the taskbar. But let's see. Um, what do we got going on? I could play some other Turbo Graphics games from the era. Um, or we could just we could just shut down early and just raid out with uh with that being a nice victory, but it is kind of early. Um it is kind of early. I wonder what else we could be. I wonder what else we could do. I wasn't I wasn't actually thinking that uh, we would finish off E6 quite so quickly. But now I'm actually curious. I am actually curious. Let's switch to just chatting here for a quick second because I am curious to see. Let's see. Um, am I crazy? I think I am. Let's see. Okay, so in order, it goes East Origin, East Book 1 and 2, East 10, and then East 4. So East 10 is going to take place uh, between the first two games and then East 4. Then it's East 3, and then East 5, <laughs> East 8, and then East 6. So East 8 actually takes place before this game that we just beat. And then, yeah, East 7 is the next one. And then after that, all the way at the end of the chronology is East 9. That's that's fun. We could get I mean, we could just start with E7. Um, we, we theoretically could just we could just start with that, depending on uh, on what you guys uh, think. Let's see. Let's do a Let's do a quick poll. What do you guys think? Should I should I start E7 or you guys want to see some uh, old TurboGrafx games? Because <laughs> I could fire up uh, I could fire up uh, good old Valis 3. I haven't played that in a while. I could I could go for that. Anybody have any particular feelings one way or the other? As we uh as we kind of enjoy the afterglow of E6. Or do I just shut down? Let's see who who's on actually. Maybe we'll just maybe we'll just raid out to somebody. Maybe we'll just raid out to somebody. Who's on? Let's take a look. Um You know what, Kai's on. Why don't we why don't we stop? Why don't we quit while we're ahead? Let's raid out to Kai. Um, it's a little bit of a short stream, but it's like, like it's nice, short and sweet. Um, make uh yeah, make E7 a new stream. I agree. I, I think that makes, I think that makes sense. I mean, we could always like, like we could have like dabbled with it, but yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather just kind of start over. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do that. Yeah. Short, you know, short streams are good. Sometimes it just works out. So we beat the game. That's always nice to do. Let's do that. Let's raid Kai. He's playing Donkey Kong Country. Let's go say hi to him. Uh, and I can actually get some good sleep tonight. <laughs> so let's fire this up. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Tonight was fun. It's always nice when you beat a game. And uh, let's get let's get this whole thing started. Ah, uh, some lovely. Oh, and it still says my 
it still says my stream's unstable. I don't know what's up with that. But uh, after we got restarted, um, uh, oh, it just doesn't like the fact that my bitstream is set too high. But yeah, I could always I could always rewatch it later and just kind of take a look at things. We'll rewatch the VOD and see if it if it looks fine. But I'm gonna guess everything looks fine on that end. All right, so let's as we fire up Kai here. Uh, let's see what's going on for the rest of the week here. Um, I think my plan is still going to be to stream on Tuesday and Thursday night, or at least one or the other. It's probably going to be Mech Warrior Five, most likely, but um, but I'll I'll wait and see how kind of how the week's going. Uh, I'm kind of running. I'm starting to close in on a uh, deadline here with schoolwork, so that may or may not be in the cards. But, um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys apprised. I mean, a few hours just of, 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 you know, blowing off some steam and playing some games. I'm thinking at least one of the two days uh, I'll be on. But anyway, all right, guys, I will see you all later. Ladies and gents, this is Seraph saying sayonara, and I'll see you approximately later.